Welcome to Magical Moments with Elena Chapman, the place for you to break free from the norm and celebrate your life because what we believe in our hearts becomes our reality. This is Magical Moments with Elena Chapman. Welcome to Magical Moments for that ease and that betterment in your life because you know what? You deserve it. You so deserve it. I'm your host, Elena Chapman. And for this morning, for our magical nugget, I wanted to talk a little bit about gratitude. I know gratitude is is so talked about. Actually, I want to talk about setting your morning off right. Because what I do with gratitude is I actually make it a whole morning connection. And what do I mean by that? Well, for a morning connection, it helps to center me. It helps me to raise my vibration, which we're going to be talking a lot today. I have a very special guest for you. But it also helps me to set the intention of who I want to be, how I want to present myself in this world, how do I want to feel inside throughout the day. And you're saying, well, Elena, seriously? Yes, seriously. Because how we bring ourselves forward in this world is how we get the response back. So if we go out there all hurried and scurried and running around and bossy and, and do this and get this done, or, or if we are going into the office thinking, oh, just another day, I have to, oh, you know, I got to do this, I got to do this, you're going to bring all that heaviness back with you. So a morning connection, I always say, has three components. It has that wonderful raising vibration. It has that wonderful focus of the mind towards the intention of your day. And one of the most important things is it connects to source, or as I love to say, my beloved God. Okay? So when you connect, or if you're atheist, something bigger than yourself, whatever that may be to you. It's whatever it is to you, but it's connection. So what I usually do is I get up in the morning and I find either my little sacred little spot in the morning, in inside if it's raining, and out on the porch because I love, love, love to see the trees, feel the breeze, hear the birds, I'll sit out on the porch. And I always have my gratitude pad. I have one pad that I've dedicated to my gratitude. And I sit down and I say at the top, you can say whatever you like. Some people say I'm so happy and grateful. I tend to put thank you, thank you, thank you with big giant exclamation points. Because that just makes me happy too. And then I write down 10 things that I'm very grateful for. Now, sometimes in the morning, if, if I know that I'm very rushed, I'll write five. But here's the thing with that gratitude. I feel every single one. So when I write about this beautiful morning that I'm able to sip my tea out on the porch, I am just reveling in feeling that beautiful breeze, listening to the birds, and and that warm cup of tea. I am reveling in it. It's raising my vibration. And it's making me feel good. And gratitude brings the very best part of your life forward in the day. So gratitude is very important. So that's what I do. And then then after that, then I say... um, I'm in a really good place, and then I say to God, or to spirit, or to some source, I close my eyes and I say, how may I serve the world today? And I allow myself to be very quiet and get into what I always call that sweet spot for a minute. And sometimes I'll get a word, I'll get an idea, I'll get a just an inspiration, And sometimes I won't, but that's okay. Because guess what? It always seems to happen later in the day. But I'll hear something like, well, Elena, bring your best forward. Or Elena, bring, um, what was one? Oh, one that surprised me is, Elena, 
you must have some fun today. <laughs> I thought that, and you know, they're right about that. Fun is extremely important. And so little things like that. And then I close, then I send light. So I keep my eyes closed and I take this beautiful light of love, total love, and I send it to three people that are bothering me or situations that are bothering me. And I allow that love to just penetrate. If it's people, I allow it to that light to just surround them and hug them and give them that beautiful love. Or I allow the situation, if there's a situation that's really bothering me, I allow it to just penetrate that situation and just dissolve it with love. Okay? And then I sit down and I take out my schedule and I turn my little gratitude pad over, my little paper that I've been writing on, and on the back I will look at my phone schedule because it's usually on my phone, and I will write out my schedule for the day. Now I know my, I have my schedule on the phone, but if I write it out through this way on pen and paper, all of a sudden I'm thinking to myself, okay, I have a very busy day. Well, what is the intention for this day? How do I want to get through this day? Well, I want to be calm. I want to feel centered. Oh, I have that humongous meeting with all these people today. All right. How do I want to feel during this meeting? What's my, I want to feel in control of myself. I want to fill the room with love. See what I mean? And you get to plan so that when that big giant meeting comes or when that situation comes, you're ready and you're connected. And that's my morning connection. Now, though, I also love to go for a walk if I have time or do some quick yoga, 15 minutes, because in the morning it's hard. I'll do my yoga later in the day. That's the body, getting the body into thing. So this is the morning connection. Connection. All together, it takes me about 30 to 40 minutes if I add the yoga. So I get up a little bit early and I do it. Your vibration and where you set your mind is so important. And that's where I want to bring in my guest. And I'm really hoping I pronounce her name really well. <laughs> Michiko Hayashi. Very good. And thank you. <laughs> I practiced. I practiced her name. <laughs> She's so cool. Now she is an incredible. I have a very special surprise for you. Um, she's global director and ambassador of Emoto Peace Project, a non-profitable organization. Now she's actually speaking to me from Tokyo. Correct. That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, she's all the way from Tokyo this, Tokyo this morning. And the reason why I, I was really interested in getting her on because she has been working as an administrative pers uh, personal assistant to Dr. and I've got to pronounce it, Masaru Haimoto. Emoto. And, okay. I'm, uh, and actually, even though I'm having trouble with his name, which I'm getting better and better, he... I, I know all about what he did. He was the founder of the Emoto Peace Project and the pioneer of Hado or vibration research of water. Now, I know if you are in the spiritual or self-help world, you know about his experiments. You know about what he has, he discovered with water and I mean, it's phenomenal. We're going to be talking more. I don't want to ruin the surprise, so I'm just going to read a little bit more. Um, the message from water is the hidden, and the, the, message, the hidden messages in water are books that have been written by him. She is the successor of his legacy, and she distributes these children books, the message from water, for free to children and gives lectures to teach water memory, and that our consciousness creates realities, as well as teaching the importance of love and gratitude through the message from water. 
and it makes the world a more harmonious place, which, oh my gosh, couldn't we use that piece right now? <laughs> so with that, I would love to bring out Michiko right now. Hello, my dear. Hi, Elena. Thank you so much. Well, I feel I'm so just so happy to have you on, and, and good morning, and thank you for getting on so early. <laughs> well, actually, Tokyo, it's nighttime. We have 12-hour difference between New York, eastern, um, eastern part of the U.S., and Japan. That makes so, sense, because you're more on the west. Yeah, I understand that. Right, Come yeah. On. So now yeah. it's uh, morning, early in the morning for you, and... Kind of um, at night for you. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. Well, so let's talk a little bit. Um, why don't you tell people a little bit more about yourself? And how did you work with, and Dr. I want to talk, Masaru. Masaru Emoto, Dr. Emoto. You um, do that much better than me. Yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, when, when I started working, um, I started working for him in 2004, uh -huh. uh, in March. It was March of 2004. And at that, right before that, I was, um, I was writing my book. I wrote my books um, for Japanese people on how to study English to take the test, to pass the test. It, it was more like a, they were more like a technical books. Okay. For learning okay. English. And then... Uh, I was also translating books, and the last work I did was translation of Starbucks book from English into Japanese. And as soon really? as I finished it, I wanted to take three months off without doing anything. And I had at that time I had two sons who were still small, so I decided to take um, three months off to spend time with my my sons, and I and I wanted to read books. And so I bought 10 books online. Okay. Probably it was from Amazon. And two books out of those 10 were Dr. Motos. <sighs> as soon as I read his books and saw the water crystal pictures of Thank You, that was a beautiful, brilliant crystal. It was. You, yes. And You Fool, water crystal, was really a disaster. It's just a, it was not even a um, crystal. Right. And that was the chaos one. Chaos, yes. And our mind is in all this chaos. And the chaos. vibration that it gives off, yeah. And yeah. then the last one was uh, the water crystal from the wars, love and gratitude. Mm. And that was just the most beautiful, gorgeous crystal. And then when I saw them, I knew this was the truth. And then I got goosebumps. So I started to learn some more about Dr. Moto on, on the website. Then there, his website said he was looking for someone who could help him with the, uh, the foreign rights to his books. Right. Then as soon as I saw that, I thought, I felt he needed me. I, it was an intuition. I was, I was cold. Yeah. Yeah. So I called. I, of course I, you were I called. called his office. And he needed you. He, he needed me. I called his office. He was traveling in the U.S., giving lectures in the U.S. So his assistant, uh -huh. um, I talked with his assistant. In three weeks, I was there already working for him, with him. Oh, how fabulous. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful story. And, and then, then you sort of knew what you were walking into, too. It's not like, um, oh, my gosh, to work for, with someone that you totally admire his work. What a godsend that is. But at the, until then, I really didn't know anything about Dr. Emoto. And because I read those books, two books, and just, uh, I resonated so much. Right. And when they, when I called my office, um, at that time, it was not my office yet. I, my older son was, I think he was about 11, 12 years old. When he came home from school, I said, I just did something that, Weird thing, I said, because I was not looking for a job. And I explained what happened. Then the first word that my son said was, Mom, it's your faith. And I got, oh, my, gosh, my yeah. faith. 
My son Isn't is sick. Isn't it amazing what kids will say? You know, know what I mean? They, they have this, this insight because they're still, if they, they're, they're not totally lost, all that wonderful. Exactly. They're still the very eye and the chakra. They're still connected to uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It's very so incredible. He knew what was happening, I think. And yes. so ever since then, I was his um, personal assistant, helping him, mainly helping him with his books to foreign rights because a lot right. of. Um, uh, publishers around the world wanted to buy his uh, rights to his books and also lectures around the world, events and seminars. Right. So, Why don't you talk a little bit about what his work really entailed? Okay. Because I know his work, but I bet there are many people out there that don't it, totally know yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, his book called The Hidden Messages in Water became the world, um, the New York Times bestseller. So yes. probably some, a lot of people know about this book, but what Dr. Emoto did was that he, he knew that he was, um, he was a doctor of alternative medicine for more than 10 years before he started doing the research on water. And at that time, as a doctor of alternative medicine, he was treating he treated more than 10,000 people with just with had a vibrational machine called MRA, um, magnetic resonance analyzer, okay, and transmitting the imprinting water to heal people. So what he did was he made personalized water to heal all his clients, and what they even like patient uh, patients with cancer terminated cancer they they got well also and dr moto knew at that time that everything was vibration and yeah. that when we correct when we are not resonating with the vibration that we're supposed to be because every organ has its own in intrinsic uh, vibration or frequency for example our liver my liver is supposed to have this vibration and when I'm not resonating with this vibration, then my liver is going to start having problems. Now I have a question there. Okay. So, and that makes sense. That makes total sense. However, if you are one who is trying to uh, keep your vibration or, or, you know, you're trying to live a vibration of that freeness, that happiness, that just exactly. well-being. Yes. Now, that is really important. Now, the sweat, yeah, and, but now I have to worry about my liver. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> and my kidney and my stomach. No, <laughs> okay. no, no, okay. Yeah. Now, let right. me tell you, this is really very, very um, interesting because he discovered that, for example, liver is uh, related to um, anger. When our emotional in the vibration of yeah. anger continues, like when I'm angry all the time, then right. from time, I mean, goes on, then it starts to affect my liver. Wow, yes. So, so what he did was the, the, there's a vibration of, of the vibrational codes for liver. So what he did was everything is yin and yang. So if this uh, vibration is um, how do, uh, the, no, the liver is having a problem. That means the liver is the, the negative vibration of liver is being very dominant. So what he did was he imprinted the um, positive side of this um, vibration to the water to heal so that he can, this water can neutralize the vibration of the liver of that person. And so when he imprinted, that means that he somehow gave the emotion or the vibration to the water and got it water, to vibrate at the machine. Rate. I'm sorry? Using that vibrational machine. Oh, using the vibrational machine uh -huh. that would then change the water, that would vibrate the water, and then he would imprint that in us. Right. And then the, we're, we're, we're 70% water. 
inside, right? Yes, we are 70% water. And here in the air, we have um, vapor, water, water right. in the air. humidity is water. And the soil, everything has water. Tree, everything. Yeah. Everything. So, everything. so, and then find, uh, what he discovered is that by, he knew that water can heal people and he knew that water is observing all the energy all around the water and because now that's too. That's because very water is absorbing yeah. say that again so everyone can really hear that water is observing the energy vibration of this water all around it so it, it soaks in whatever its environment is. It uh -huh. soaks in. That's why with your liver, which is water, or our organs in our body, so that's why the emotions of us, it doesn't even need the chemicals released. No. It absorbs uh -huh. everything from our mood, and it then starts affecting different parts of our body because we're 70% water. Exactly. Liver is related to anger, sadness, is related to lung. Really? Joy is related to heart. Oh wow. And jealousy is is related to thyroid. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So see all these no, are I didn't know that things. exact thing. That's that's so, no and what Dr. Moto discovered what he did was he wanted to prove that um, water is a uh, Observe, it, observing the energy of all around it. So In other words, it's here, conscious. He's trying to prove that it's conscious. Mm -hmm. Cool. And here in Japan, we have the word kotodama. Kotodama means spirits of wars. And we say here in Japan, every single word has its own spirit. And right. spirit is more like an energy, right? That's very Tao. You know, the Taoism. And also, uh, well, many faiths, but Taoism... And even Hermites, there are so many that feel, and I do too, the Gnostic religions mm -hmm. before Christianity, that spirit is in everything. 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 Living and matter, even matter, everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, so he wanted to prove this. Okay. He wanted to prove right. it. So what he did was, the first thing he did was he sh printed thank you in Japanese. We say arigato. Thank you in Japanese and you fool in Japanese and showed it to water. Thank you to just one water. Okay. You fool to the other water. So show we have this water. I just want to make sure the listeners understand this. That's all. Okay. Because it is by sound. So he'd have one water in like one glass or anything. And then like, so he'd have three glasses and he'd have them separated. And so with one water, he would say, thank you in Japanese which mm -hmm. you did so beautifully and I won't try. And then <laughs> another glass, he would, he would say it, uh, you fool, which is scattered chaos. And then right. the next one, he would do the anger, correct? Right. What he did right. was he wrote the words and then showed the word to the water. Expo he water is exposed it. to the word, like written word. He did not say it over and he over. He did not like say it. Out. He, showed he showed the word. The word. Now By showing the word, he, what he did was, we, we, even in our office, in our laboratory, we still keep taking water crystal photos. And when we show words, we leave it for 24 hours. So then, you put the word on there, like you tape the word thank you uh -huh. on that glass so that they, and, and the water, that's so, and so, okay, so that removes, I'm thinking this through, that removes the human element of vibration because you are taping the word and then leaving it. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So even without our emotions, words, every single word, has its own vibration frequency, whether it's that makes sense. Ne negative or positive. And when Dr. Emoto showed the beautiful arigato, thank you to word to water, then the water created 
beautiful, powerful hexagonal crystal. And that's this one. I mean, listeners cannot see it, but you can see it on this Zoom. This is and if you guys want to, uh, just so you know, all listeners who are listening to this fabulous show and by either podcast or radio, you know, awesome. I'm happy. But you might want to go also to my YouTube if you want to see some pictures of these crystals. Because, oh my gosh, it is truly beautiful. She's showing... And it's amazing that water responds to the written word. Even I was, I didn't know that fact. That's, that's right. phenomenal. And, and words do cool. have vibration. But yeah. I, I, because it's if you can say, see this. Oh, what's now that, which one? That's this the fool. Is from, after showing you, the word, you fool to water. It's, it doesn't even have the shape of a crystal. Space. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's no exactly. definite form. It's just total spinning chaos. Right, chaos. That looks like the universe for those of you who can't see. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say about our universe? <laughs> Interesting. Well, what I find totally fascinating, well, it is true because I, I teach that. I teach that words have vibration. And, but I always have thought, and this is where we're a little different because – I didn't realize even the written word. That's powerful. Um, When you say something like, uh, thank you, you can feel how it feels on your tongue. You can feel how it relaxes your body when you say Mm -hmm. You can feel the vibration of it, just feeling this overwhelming sense of humbleness, gratitude, humility. Uh Uh-huh. When you try, when you're angry and you say things, uh, maybe a curse word. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes that's a release, but it's still hard. Or if you say, "I um, jealous," let's take jealousy. Oh my gosh, look at her like that, or mm-hmm. look at him. Does he think he's hot stuff? These yeah. words, hot stuff. Look at him, uh-huh. and the way we say it is uh, like arrows shooting out of our mouth, and they're hard. So. I teach that with saying, and I can. I really do feel that water would respond to that vibration in the exactly. sound, in the formation of those words. And but, when we say that, yes, go ahead. When we say that we have to know that our water within our body is forming that crystals. Also, water in the air is forming that, and we are breathing in that water within so we are water. affecting everything around everything. us 70 percent of water inside the water that is in the air the water that's in everything around us oh my gosh and see and, and then we wonder why we get sick energetic beings so whatever we say whatever we feel is really like a or more like a torrent right so yeah. So it's, we are affecting everything around us too, just like we water. Are. Yeah. And because we're and, all connected and we're all connected through that water. Yeah. I, well, spirit, and, but and also water. Exactly. And at the beginning you said, when you, when you are in the meeting, uh, like do this and do that, ordering, it's really, this is from the word, do it. It's a disaster. It's really... <gasps> But when we say you really do have to go to the YouTube. Can you show that again? The do it, make it happen. Oh gosh. Do it is really ordering is really, really it's it's very destructive. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you say let's do it with um, respect, kindness, water responds this beautiful crystal. So you can still say it. That one you can still, you know, let's do it, but it's with the intention behind Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's all, let's all plant trees. Let's do it. Let's make a new product that people love. We can do it. Uh We can do it kind of thing. That's different than I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to, this is going to. For for those people who are, um, who have a lot of challenges and, and, and also like a project, if we say, I can do it. Water makes this beautiful, powerful, <gasps> brilliant crystal. So the just by, saying, just by saying, I can do it. I can do but it. If we say, I can't do it anyway, it's broken. Wow. And it does. It's, it, guys, so, for, so that you know, it's like uh, everything else is like, like a beautiful, flow and design. This is like chunked. 
Right. So this, what, everything we say is vibration. See, so yeah. if we are positive and saying something positive, then the vibration frequency is very positive and beautiful. So water creates beautiful crystals at the molecular level. And just imagine thousands and thousands, millions of all these crystals every day within your body and with around you and all that. That really makes a huge difference in your life. And if you're, yeah, and if you are, if you are, I want to use the ethereal, but let's just, I'm trying to bring it down to the practical. Uh -huh. So if I'm going around and one minute I'm happy, one minute I'm sad, one minute I'm mad, one minute I'm this, and my whole day is filled with this variety of different emotions, <laughs> think what you're doing to the water inside you, which is affecting the organs inside you. I mean, you're 70% water, folks. So you are like, you're making little tidal crystals in there everywhere. I mean, just up and down, up and down. Your water is, oh my gosh, how very interesting. Okay, so, so our, and this is something that you probably want to see. Our thoughts, our emotions, or our intentions are really powerful also because Dr. Emoto was really, he was a very curious person in, and he, want, he did many different kinds of experiments. And this was from prayer. Um, before prayer, wow. water was an amoeba. <laughs> really ugly. It is ugly. It looks like an amoeba or something. <laughs> yeah. And look at this one. After look at prayer, prayer, that's gorgeous. After prayer. Oh After prayer. This is how powerful our consciousness is. Wow. Guys, when you we, have to see this. When we say, when we want to send love to someone, when we send love and gratitude to someone, our intention, our, our thoughts, our prayer reaches beyond time and space. And that is, that is science now. We That's have a lot of... Now we're talking. Now this is where when I teach spirituality and science come in. I love this. You are listening to Magical Moments, and we're going to be talking more about this because this is important. But I also want to say, guys... Uh, if you want to see these pictures, you, when you go to YouTube, uh, I'll have the video up. You'll get to see me and my uh, first thing in the morning. Oh, boy. <laughs> but more importantly, you'll get to see the photos. And all you have to do is go to Elena Chapman, A-L-E-N-A -E Chapman, and that's my YouTube station. All right? So then you can see the photos. But we will be right back, and we're going to talk more about this. Can't wait to see you. Welcome back. You're listening to Magical Moments with Elena Chapman, helping you find ease and betterment with every episode. Download more on your favorite podcast platform. Now, here's Elena. Welcome back to Magical Moments. And oh my gosh, does this... Now, right now, you're probably... If you were listening to the first half of the show, you're thinking, how is this ease and flow? I have to worry about my positivity all the time. <laughs> We are talking to Michiko Hayashi, and she is, she was a personal assistant and also helped to write books of, and I always, uh, uh, Masaru Haimoto, which she will correct for me. Yeah. And anyway, but. I know the books. I, I'm always fascinated with this. And like I said, if you want to see the photos that she has shown, guys, you got to see the photos. You've got to see how just the word written, just the word written and placed on the glass of the water changes the crystal formation of that water. Now, that even blows my mind because I always thought it was a vibration from us, which it is, but just the word. Incredible. I love science. So I want to talk this a little bit more, Mijiko, uh -huh. about, um, okay, so we have talked about our organs all being affected. The liver is um, anger. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And the heart is jealousy? Joy? No, oh, sadness. Is joy. Sadness. Joy. Joy. Okay. Yeah. The lungs is sadness. Sadness. Okay. Thyroid. Thyroid jealousy. is jealousy. jealousy. Okay. <laughs> so this is the, these are the organs that are affected by different, different emotions mm -hmm. and also words. So now this is what I know that some people, especially when they're not in this space, they're say, thinking, okay, so what do I have to do? I have to go around and measure every word I say. I have to measure everything I do. I have to be happy all the time. And isn't that forced? Well, folks, I hate to tell you, but if you're forced in it, it's not the real thing anyway. So <laughs> you might as well stop right there. But can we talk a little bit about this? Because it can be, I mean, I love science and I, I mean, this is totally fascinating to me. But when you try to put it in practicality, mm -hmm. okay, that's a different matter. Mm -hmm. So how, how do we bring that, how do we keep that equilibrium of that water in our bodies and outside of us? How do we do that? All right. We are all human beings who have emotions. We can't help it. We can't, right. we cannot be always positive all the time. We yeah. cannot be always happy all the time because no, it's right not now, uh, when you look around the, the situation in the world, people will, uh, most of the people, a lot of people have fear, worry about what will happen in the near future about COVID and all that, thinking about this and, and race and all that, the riots. So many people are worried. I know. Uh, and it's okay to be, if there are many ways to control our emotions. We don't want to go overboard, in other words. No. <laughs> we don't want to I mean, watching, watching those news. Turn yeah, off. Turn it off. Yeah, turn off and enjoy nature go outside and breathe take a beautiful um breathing i mean meditation or even join get yourself involved yeah start yeah. you know anger anger and and all that tied up emotion puts us in our heads guys and what i usually say is to when that happens it's okay it's all right don't punish yourself but um, just try to get it out at the beginning. Just accept that you're angry at something. You're scared of something. It's all right. You can accept. You can just observe yourself. Accept the way you are, how, whatever you are going through right now. But then after that, you just surrender. Observe yourself. Oh, observe yourself. Yes. Observe yes. yourself from distance. Yes. You no. Know Self-observation, yeah. Exactly. Then you feel it's all right. Yeah. It's not, you're not in there, in that box. So it, when you observe yourself, guys, we've talked a little bit about self-observation. What she's saying is that you, you, you just say to yourself, okay, I like to do it by asking myself a question. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden it puts me into self-observation. For mm -hmm. instance, if I feel like my stomach tightens, I usually do this when my stomach tightens, that's intuition. And I say to myself, okay, so why is that? I'm about to walk in this room, but my stomach all of a sudden tightens. Why? Why is that? And all of a sudden, just saying that, I'm not getting involved in the nervousness. I'm above the nervousness saying, okay, what's going on? And it'll say, oh my gosh, I don't know all these people. Okay, all right, well, We'll just get to know them one by one. Do you see what it affords you? You feel the emotion, but you don't stay in the emotion. Exactly. You feel the emotion, but you do not stay in that emotion. You do the self-observation to get yourself out. Then, that. after that, you say, thank you, because I now can handle it. I now, I am now much better now. Yeah. Thank you. And See, you give when you the just, gratitude. Yeah. I like that. I like I, that. When you start saying thank you to, when you look around, there are so many things that you want to be grateful for. There's so many things. Yes. You know, now, right, right now, my mom, and I use my mom as an example so much. Thank goodness she doesn't listen to my show. <laughs> but 
she, she is going through a hard time in rehab right now, a very hard time. And she is making life horrid for all the therapists. My mother is not me. So I just think to myself, when they talk to me, it's very funny. It's very funny to see how everything changes with them. But it also, the stress that they have to deal with, I kind of want to just tell everyone to just chill, that it's going to be okay. We make it so hard. And yet, there's so much for my mom to be grateful for in there. People who are really trying to help her heal. Maybe it's not ideal. She's in a lot of pain, but still being gratitude, having gratitude for the people who are trying so hard to make her muscles stronger, who are mm-hmm. trying to make her independent. We can have, in other words, what I'm trying to say, folks, we can find gratitude and thankfulness and have a sense of joy in any situation that we're in. There are always angels out there. Yeah. And if we don't look for those angels and we don't open our eyes, it's not even like we have to look for them. We just have to open our eyes. Then we get stuck in these emotions that mess up our, our water inside. What, it releases chemicals too, but my gosh, you, you don't even need the chemicals. You're just messing up the water. You're forming <laughs> weird kind of crystals in there. <laughs> That's true, you, really. You are messing up systems in your body. This is a fascinating. Through, through our um, um, sessions of vibration, we do have in our company, we have the division of how to uh, healing sessions, the right. vibrational healing sessions. And in that division, we, well, Dr. Moto actually discovered that our emotions are the ones that are creating our own problems, diseases also. Yes. And the most beautiful crystal that water made is this from love and gratitude. Isn't that brilliant? It's beautiful, like diamond. No, it's like a diamond. And I mean, it's, it's so detailed. So incredibly so what detailed. Moto said was that God created this um, earth w- with a design of, uh, he designed this um, earth with love and gratitude. Yes, he did. So, so he said, when we are in the state of love and gratitude, in another word, you love yourself first. Everything starts from within. Then, yeah. And when I love myself, then I accept myself and I, I forgive myself and I love myself. Yes. When I do that, I, I know that everybody is I, we are, because we are, I mean, connected, we are one. Totally. We're part of the same family for, of this earth. We're all from one source. Exactly. Everything and the source, source folks. God is love. love. Everything. God is love. And we are and love. We are an extension of that. So exactly. shouldn't we be love? Uh-huh. And I know that some people still say out there, well, some say, how do I start to love myself? And others are saying, that's so selfish. <laughs> no, it's not selfish. No, no, no. It's, it's not, not selfish. It's yeah, not. When you, when you see yourself in the morning and look at yourself and say, wow, Michiko, I love you so much. You're so beautiful. You just say that's that cool. to yourself. Then you feel good. Yes. And when you feel good, your day starts from happiness. Yes. And beautiful. And, and what, why wouldn't you love yourself, folks? Yeah, you it's are a, a, a direct, a joint part of God. You are. You're from love. Yeah. And you don't see God saying he's horrible. No. no this he is doesn't really hate himself, good. so why should we hate ourselves? Or she, I should say. You yeah. know, I mean, you really have to look at yourself. You are a magnificent spirit in a body you are not a body with a little teeny weeny spirit you are you're filled with 70 percent of water you are filled with total spirit too mm-hmm. you, you are so much more than you think mm-hmm. you're incredible 
and you're just in this wonderful little body so that we can operate on this planet. That's it. That's all this body's for. When you leave, this body turns into the earth itself. But our soul stays. But our soul is connected. Our soul soars mm -hmm. and never dies. Mm -hmm. That's what we are. Exactly. So and you know, our emotions go with the soul. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Consciousness goes with the soul. So it doesn't matter how we look, but the important thing is our inside. How we live inside and what we create. And I'll tell you what, you start to love yourself and you start just like Michiko said, hello, Elena, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you're trying to do today and thank you for just living this life. Say that to yourself. And when you can do that for yourself, oh my gosh, then it will bloom for other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 This is incredible. So now you're you're doing this. Uh, this is what I love. I love this. You are teaching children. My gosh, if you can get to children, uh huh. Oh my lord, you're you're you are counteracting all the stuff they hear from teachers or parents that are hard. You know, you're counteract. Oh my gosh, you're giving them a resource, a tool to grab onto in school. Right. And children, children are the future of this earth. Of course they are. In 20 years, they will be adults. And yeah. people, all the children who learn about this message from water, how we are 70% wa water, so is this um, Mother Earth, 70% water. And that's why the, this earth is called Water Planet. Right? Yeah. yeah. So everything, and everything, water is life. And when we learn, when we learn, when the children learn from this children's book of message from water, it shows how beautiful water, water makes crystals and all the beautiful crystals from all the natural waters, from how different beautiful. places. And also how, um, how water responds to music, different music. And I love uh, that. Okay, I will show you. The beautiful crystal from the classical music, but when the music is um, like a um, heavy metal, heavy with, metal, yeah, yeah with the uh, destructive energy, with the singer singing with anger, then the vibration is very destructive, and water cannot form the crystal. So what we want our children to learn is to listen to something beautiful. To, to understand that they're good. from beauty, they're from love, and uh -huh. they need to teach that creation. The words, different words, thank you and you fool, and you are beautiful and dirty, beautiful and dirty. Oh, <laughs> oh guys, you have got to see this. I mean, when you say, when you say you're beautiful, Oh yeah. Feel the word. Feel the word when you say it. When you say a word and it doesn't yeah. feel right, guess what? You're doing things to the water. It's this beautiful like a snowflake. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. When you say uh uh I Dirty hate word. myself. Right. It's like it's really weird. disaster. It's uh it's ugly. It looks polluted. Honest to God, it looks polluted. That's what we are doing to ourselves when we say that, when we feel it. You know, that's why we want to be always happy. Okay, I'll show you this. Um, and when we're living in drama, this is why This is why we also have to honor ourselves, guys. Yeah. Because if we're going around, I love you, I love you, but we're living, we put up with a toxic relationship. And we let somebody talk badly about us. Now, just like we were that glass of water, if they're, they're putting us down all the time, the water inside of us is going to start going chaotic uh -huh. because we're going to feel those words because we're 70% water. Yeah. So that toxic relationship that you're putting up with, but you're saying, I love myself is being counteracted. You know, we've got, we've got to start thinking, all right, not only am I going to be, you know, putting out the vibration for myself, but I've got to fill my world. I have to fill my world with this love mm -hmm. because I don't want to absorb that water. 
I don't want that vibration that screws up my water. And plus, why are we staying with somebody who puts us down? Seriously, why? I mean, why? What does it serve? It doesn't do anything. No. It doesn't do anything. And it keeps you from your beautiful capabilities and your abilities and believing in yourself. On top of screwing up all the water inside you. <laughs> and when you're happy, when you're happy or when you're feeling good, everything goes better. It flows well. It really goes. And when we are really angry or hurting something, we're making blockage also right. to whatever we want to do. We, some, sometimes we may feel good when we get angry because, you know, somebody maybe hurt you, but it doesn't do any good because of, you, as you, as Don't you stay say, in it. water crystal. Yeah. Do not stay. You just in pour it. those crystals inside yourself. And say, this is from love and gratitude. And Dr. Emoto always said that Dr. love and gratitude is the immunity. It boosts up immunity. It said, the most, it says, the most extraordinary photograph that we took from thousands and thousands and thousands of it water crystals that we have yeah. taken is from love and gratitude. So... Wow. So if you are in a state of love and gratitude, you're feeling love, and when you are feeling grateful, then your immunity is higher. It is. Yeah. So when your immunity, when, when your vibration is so high, nothing negative can bother you, can come into okay. your, your field. So it's always best to, to be using the words positive when you see something for example um when you see this iphone some people can see it from here and then he might or she might say oh it's all black but it's beautiful when you see it from here see There's you just gold. change yeah. the angle of your perspective perspective right angles there are always and, something good and don't punish yourself if you're not doing it you know what I mean? We we do, and I like I I'm a big proponent of baby steps, guys. You know, you know me. Baby steps, baby steps can move mountains. Mm -hmm. So maybe today, just start saying thank you for yourself in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. and then maybe, maybe tomorrow, start measuring your words a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, did I? And you know, I love that redo button. I love the redo button button you know so I say something I say something and I think ooh, that word didn't feel right just bop that little imaginary red button say redo and change it yeah that's simple that's it it's not hard we're not asking you to like move you know I don't know create the iPhone or something you just need to do the baby steps and I know I make it easy because why in the heck would I make it hard <laughs> so take the little you know just the redo button and say thank you and make that your week right there and my gosh you have just changed the vibration of the water already <laughs> and then next week add the morning connection that's that's how you start to build a solid practice you and go that's how you one, change habits. one step, you go one step at a time. You don't just at jump time. from one to 100. No, one, don't do that. Like that's just one step at a time. When you go one step today, next one, next day, maybe just a little more. Then when you look back, in like five, when we look back five years ago, I was not as I am now. I am right. much better than five, 10 years ago yeah. because every day, little by little, I try to do, to remember, even though I'm saying this, but I am one human being. You're human, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, so I sometimes get angry, get sure. scared, get depressed, sure. frustrated, yeah. but it's okay. That's right. You just don't stay in it forever. No. No. How can people find out more about you? Oh, please come to the website. Um, it's <laughs> www.emoto.com. E -M -O -T -O 
peaceproject.net. And we will have that link somewhere. We need okay. that. That is yeah. excellent. So um, I think what you're doing and Dr. Emoto, the, 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 this just is so cool, especially for children, but even for adults. Adults. Understand yeah. this concept. It simplifies it so much. And to understand, it's just more of the connection in life mm -hmm. and, and a connection of all life. And when we really start to understand that, oh my gosh, it changes the world. It does. It changes the world. Mm -hmm. oh. Guys, make sure you check out the, the books. They are fabulous. And please go to Elena Chapman on YouTube and look at these, these pictures she showed. Because when you look at the pictures and you, you see the show, you'll, you'll just think, how can I think any other way? <laughs> How can I allow myself to live with so much bitterness when I'm doing this to myself and to those around me? Incredible, isn't it? And for all of you, please check out Soul Manifesto. We're having a lot of cool things, like I said, to, to really get that wonderful inner peace. I have a seven-day reset to inner peace program starting up today. And if you are interested, it's a free program because I find it so important for you to start to find that inner peace. And part of that, folks, is gratitude. So go to Soul Manifesto and check out that free program. I did it for you. And start with gratitude today. Start to love yourself. Start to do the things that are good for you. And before you know it, you'll be radiating beauty inside and beauty outside, everywhere you go. This is Magical Moments. Love you all. Goodbye. This has been Magical Moments with Elena, featuring Elena Chapman. If you missed an episode, download it now on iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn, CastBox, Deezer, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, or your favorite podcast platform. Learn more online at soulmanifesto.com. Podcasts by Federated Media.